In this video, I will speak about Humana stock. It's a US healthcare stock. The healthcare stocks are defensive stocks. I have four healthcare stocks in my portfolio. I have Humana, I have BioNTech, I have Pfizer, and I also have Roche. The positions that I have in these stocks are relatively large in terms of my portfolio, around 2-3%, even more. But if we look at overall size of these uh, four stocks, it represents less than the percentage of the healthcare stocks in the S&P 500, which is around 13%. And the total position that I have in these four stocks is around 10%. So this represents a kind of defensive side of my portfolio. I also like the healthcare stocks because I believe in fundamental terms that in the future, healthcare will be even more important than in the present moment, as we see people aging, an increase of the need for healthcare. In my framework, I use some metrics and I start for looking, as I explained in a recent video, I start looking by the P ratio, which is around 20. If we look at these values, uh, they are abstract. Of course, that the low P ratio can mean that the stock is undervalued, but it could also mean that the perspectives of that company are not very good. As well, the IP ratio could represent that the stock is overvalued or that the perspective of I grow is present on that stock. We have a P ratio of 20.1. And the second value I look at is, is the price to sales ratio. The third value that I look, it's the net profit margin, which is 2.95%. Then I look if the company has dividend. In this case, it has a dividend, not very big. And I also look if the company is undervalued. In this case, it's almost 70% percent or undervalued under the discount to cash flow model. Then I look at the price to book ratio, which is 3.6 times. And I also look at the forward P ratio, which is lower than the normal P ratio is 60.6 .6 times because it's projected to occur an increase of 20, 21% in, in terms of earnings in the next year. If we see the, the price target, the average target price, it, it's around 18.1%. I also like to see the price target of financial times, which the medium target price is very similar. It's 19.6%. When I go to financial times, I like to see some news, and there is an important news regarding Umana. It is the Cigna and Umana deal. If these two companies merge, they could become a giant and they can compete with other giants in the same industry. In the past, both these two companies had previous deals blocked. So there is a kind of perspective or a fear of the market that this deal cannot be achieved. And this is the reason why recently Cigna share, shares felt 8.1% and Umana dropped around 5.5%. If we look at Wall Street Journal, there's a, there's a, a similar article. The next step is to look at the ESG score, which is a factor that is important for me that I included in 2023. I mainly choose companies 
that have high scores in terms of ESG. And I, for instance, I closed all positions in oil companies and in, in the military sector. And as you see, Umana has a very high score, 66, uh, where the industry average is 57. The last aspect that I look in terms of this company, referring that I have percent of my portfolio in Umana, is look at the chart. And as we see recently, there was a drop that was related with the announcement of the possible merge, but the stock is going higher since the, the beginning of, of July. We can say in very superficial analysis that is trading at a kind of midpoint, a kind of support resistance uh, level around the 500 price. If you want me to look at any particular stock, please put that in the comments. It's always an opportunity for me to, to look at that stock and to analyze another asset. Of course, this is the, the summary of the analysis. Of course, when I'm analyzing the stock, I go a little bit deeper in terms of uh, another information. I will continue to analyze different stocks of my portfolio and other stocks. So I hope to see you again in my next video.